I'm Diane, and I would consider myself a digital native. Starting in junior high, my family had a computer, family computer. It was extremely slow. I remember we used to like make cards for family members, and if you change the size of the clip art image, the computer would have to load for a few minutes because of the change. I also had a typing class in elementary school on one of those brightly colored large Mac desktops. However, we never used computers outside of that typing class. Teachers didn't use PowerPoint presentations. Everything was done from books, history, math, English, all of it was done with physical books. Even if we had a research project, it would never involve the Internet. We would use our campus library. Once high school came around, we had a better computer at home, and we also had a lot more computer use in school. I spent a lot of my free time in high school using AOL Instant Messenger and in chat rooms. For school, we often used the computer labs for projects and presentations, but it really depended on the class. I remember using computers in science class and religion class, but I don't remember using them in any other of my classes. Maybe, I think in English classes we would use them for research and social science every once in a while, but not very often. Um, I was trained in high school on how to use PowerPoint, and I was required to type and print out essays. Whenever we did do a research project, we generally used online sources, but every project, every research project, it was required to have a couple of book sources as well. I also spent, I also spent at least one day a week in the computer lab during lunch with friends. We had a pretty good computer lab, and this would be spent by taking personality quizzes to see which Buffy character I was, or updating our blogs or our MySpace. In college, I used PowerPoint a few times for class presentations. Teachers didn't really use um, electronics or the internet for classes. There were very few classes that did. I took a couple of online classes. They were definitely a different format than this kind of online class. It was called a hybrid class. So the teacher would physically teach a class with half of the class there in the classroom, and then the class would be filmed. And then the people who were in the online class would either watch it at that time or at a later date. But computers also became the main social avenue in college, so instant messaging and Facebook became the way that I connected to people and kept in touch with people. Um, as a teacher, it seems very different than how I was taught. I use computers every single day in my lessons. Um, even though my lessons are not lecture-based or information-based, I use it to um, guide my lessons, so to make sure that I ask the questions I mean to ask and to make sure the examples I'm using are on there so I don't forget them and I understand the flow and the order in which my lesson should go. It also helps when you're teaching ELs to use images and videos and things like that to help them understand the concept that we're learning. My students also use computers in an independent way, probably about once a month. This will be from, you know, essay writing or I give them a research project or a presentation. The librarian at our school also takes each, you know, group of 35 freshmen and teaches them for a whole week on how to identify if a source is credible or not, and some search engine strategies for effective searches. Um, that's everything. Thank you.